Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off. As you remember in the last tutorial, I showed you this code where we are combining the FLTK libraries with the OpenCV library. And uh, there are many things that you can do that is uh, that can be very, very handy uh, in order to manipulate images. And if you're doing uh, certain types of detection you're you are using uh, uh, let's say you're using uh, license plate recognition and you want to magnify the the license plate uh, let's say that you have an image and you want to use the magnifier in the code that I got uh, that I mentioned to you last time that I got from Vincent crochet the, the it comes with a magnifier that uh, that it can come very handy, especially if you're doing uh, detection and you want to magnify the, the areas of the picture. In this example, I will show you how you can do that. Uh, let's say that you have an application. Uh, I don't know if you've watched some of my other videos where I do uh, license plate recognition. And sometimes you want to just focus on the on the license plate. You want to magnify it uh, as part of your application. Uh, I'm going to show you a way that you can do that, and uh, with very little addition to the uh, code that I that I already showed you in the last tutorial. So the first thing we need to do, let me show you a little bit of the code that uh, that. Uh, is the C++ code that I don't think I showed you last time. And it's, uh, no, you fail. You were. And this is the implementation file that uh, that is part of the, the last tutorial that I mentioned that I, that I got from uh, Vincent. And I'm going to show you the magnifier because uh, you can tweak this code and uh, just like he tweaked it uh, from Blue Kid and he was able to use it for his own particular application, you can do the same with other applications. In this case, I just want to show you uh, the magnifier um, part of it, if I can find it. And I'll show you. You can change uh, some of the events. You can. Ch this is the magnifier here this part right here and let's say that you want to instead of using uh, a ratio a zoom factor of 2 like he has it here this is the rectangle and, and it, it, it's a size ratio of 0 0.20 with a zoom factor of 2.0 uh, but let's say that for some reason in your particular application you want to increase that and you'll see the effect on it and, and in order to do that first of all let's run it without it and I will show you uh, what I mean so let's run it the way I have it now and this is a picture of uh, you know just uh, a Volkswagen and, and uh, there's the color image that's the uh, grayscale image and this is the blur image and as, as you know, it is completely resizable, as you can see here. And you can see that the blur image is uh, it's got a very good resolution. So you can see there's a little bit of a, uh, let's say that you went to, you, it's not as clear. Let's say here it's nice and clear on the blur image. We're using the blur algorithm. But here you can see that there's a little bit of, uh, you know, it's not as clear, but let's say that you want to uh, magnify it. So all you need to do is click on it and you see the image, right? You see the magnified image. In this case, the region of interest would be the license plate. Because let's say, and you can do the same to the grayscale, you can do the same to the uh, blur image, but let's say that you want to make it a little bit bigger and you want to assume factor So instead of using uh, a zoom factor of 2.0 Like uh, I have here. Let's say that you want to increase it to Double or what it is now. 
so I will increase it to 4, close it, and compile it again using the new uh, zoom factor. And there you go. Uh, I show you in the last tutorial what was happening here. If you don't know what's happening, just watch my, my last tutorial. And now I'm going to run it again but now with the new zoom factor. So the images are the same, but as you can as you can see, if I apply now the magnifier, it's a lot bigger. And you can see, uh, let's, let's make the images bigger in order to complement. And I'll, I will also show you how to make all of them resizable. And let's say that now I apply the magnifier glass, and there it is. You can see a lot more detail, and uh, it has a, a bigger rectangle and a bigger uh, um, rectangle and, and area of interest. It's a lot bigger. And that's just by increasing the zoom factor in the implementation file. But let's say that you now want to, in order to make it easier to um, manipulate the images, let's say that you want to make all of them resizable. So right now I have only V resizable. So all you need to do, let's say, is just, just copy and paste a couple lines here. And copy paste and then copy and paste and let me explain to you what I'm doing right what I'm doing right now instead of just having V this guy here resizable what I'm doing is I'm making all three resizable so when I expand the main window of, of LTK uh, I will have a bigger area in order to create to, to uh, complement for the uh, bigger rectangle in the magnifier and that one is Z so now I have all three are resizable instead of just one and this is the image that I'm I'm uh, resizing okay so let's just close it here and then compile again using the new two lines that I just added and now when I uh, waiting for the executable so now the new executable file and as you can see when I now I resize them they all resize you see you can make them a lot bigger and now when I apply the magnifier glass, I have more area to work with. And I can see clearly, as you can see, this, this, uh, the blur image, this is the grayscale image. And the blur image is, is, is uh, now you know why they apply the blurring filter to some images. It will make a, a, a hell of a difference in the resolution and, and, and how clear the picture becomes. It does not always happens like that, but in this case, I chose that in this image because uh, you can see that the blur image is a lot uh, crispier, a lot cleaner, and especially if you're using, um, um, you know, the canny algorithms or other, you first apply the blur before you apply the canny algorithms and it will give you a lot better results. But uh, this is, uh, if you're working with uh, like license plate recognition, as you can see now, all three become completely resizable, okay? And this is, this can become very, very handy. And I will be showing you other, other applications of, of how you can use other algorithms and, uh, and tweak uh, the code in order to do whatever you want to do in your particular application. But this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on GitHub and Twitter. And I will see you next time with another tutorial. Have a great day.